focus of the SIR is the CBD, the Central Business District. This building will be a masterpiece of design and art, an iconic structure that will stand out as an imprint of Gujarat's ingenuity and enterprising spirit. A true monument dedicated to new Gujarat, the Golden Gujarat. The Tolera SIR will have a low carbon footprint due to extensive investments in harnessing solar and wind power. The adjoining Kalpasar Dam will create a sweet water reservoir which will transform the area into a lush green landscape. And on the outskirts, it is proposed to further develop the Black Buck Sanctuary and the golf course as tourist attractions. The central spine of the Tolera SIR will be a 10-lane expressway. This will connect the SIR with Ahmedabad on the one hand and with the airport and sea seaports on the other. The SIR will also be linked with Ahmedabad city through a metro rail system. The SIR will be serviced by a world-class international airport and major seaports in the area. While the state government is committed to public investment in core infrastructure, it is also open to attracting private investments. The SIR will be governed by a new SIR Act, another first of its kind in India. The state government has already enacted the SIR Act. SIR is a self-governed economic region enjoying global benchmarks. It has the full support of the central government and the commitment of the state government and its leadership. It has the logistics support of the upcoming Dedicated Freight Corridor or DFC between Delhi and Mumbai. The SIR will be serviced by the Gujarat International Gujarat has always thought ahead of its times. That is why it is home to some of the oldest symbols of human civilization. Gujarat has a long maritime history and its people were quick to explore the world via the sea route. In modern India, it showed the path for India's freedom and reinforced the concept of a united nation. It brought about the white revolution to the country, pioneered the cooperative movement, and experimented with decentralization of power to local governments. Yes, the state not only thinks, but acts, and acts when others don't even think. It created the first ever legal framework for public-private partnership in the country. With the government's initiative and private sector participation, Gujarat has created exemplary infrastructure in the state. Gujarat has a legacy of thinking and creating big. The state has one of the world's biggest multi-purpose dams and canals. It has the largest wide area network in Asia and has one of the world's largest grassroot petroleum refineries. For the first time in India, Gujarat undertook the interlinking of rivers. It provided broadband connectivity in all villages and all schools. It is also home to some of the largest multinational companies in the world. That is why it is called Numero Uno. That is why it is known as the growth engine of India. Gujarat works not only for its own growth, but for the growth of the country. It has had double-digit GDP growth for the last several years. And it has the fastest growing approach. Gujarat believes in making the pie bigger and also sharing it.